everyone, welcome to Wager Talk TV. I'm your host, Minty Betts, and joining me today is Ralph Michaels at CalSports LV on Twitter and Yanni the Greek at Greek underscore gambler this Sunday. I don't know if you know it, but we've got a Super Bowl going on. Super Bowl 54, San Francisco 49ers versus the Kansas City Chiefs. And in this video, we're going to talk about a couple prop selections. And I don't mean those silly props of Gatorade colors or, or just silly stuff like that. We're talking about real props. Now take it away, Yanni. What is your, your best prop selection? All right, I, I bet a lot of props. In fact, I'll have more money on props when it's all said and done than I will on the game. Uh, but a couple that, that jumped out right away on me, and I'm excited about this Super Bowl because I knew who I was going to bet immediately what I liked, so it makes things a lot easier when you're starting to work on the props. Uh, under 44 and a half first downs. Uh, as you'll see, when I throw out a couple more props, that is going to kind of be where I lean a lot of unders uh, with two of the top three scoring offenses in the NFL. I expected going in that we were going to see a lot of inflated numbers, inflated totals, inflated on receptions, inflated on yardage and on player props and also for game props. And even though a lot of these numbers that got steamed have now come down, let's not forget that the recreational bettors still haven't gotten to the window. When that weekend money comes in, a lot of these totals that got steamed under will go back up. So you will be able to get some value even if some of these lines have moved from the numbers we bet them at uh, because that's what usually happens. The weekend you see all the, the public money start coming in and they bet overs and they bet yes and the numbers start going up. And a lot of recreational bettors say, well, then why don't you wait till the public comes in and bets these numbers higher and get an even better number? It's because you're in competition with other guys that are not, you know, you don't know when someone else is going right. to make that bet. So if you see a number that's soft, you have to take it. You wish it was softer, but you some can't really take the risk and wait for it and to lose its value from someone who's smarter. Wow. Ralph, one more. Uh, oh. Fire another one. Oh, another, a no. Again, I fired a lot of no's. Uh, no two-point conversion made. Uh, for years when I've been moving steam for a very long time, two decades now, and been betting no's, we would bet no overtime. We would bet no missed ex extra point before the rule change when it was, you know, from the two and a half yard line, what have you. Um, no made two point conversion, a lot of heavy nose, willing to lay chalk, uh, long term has been profitable. I got a question for you. Give it to me. I don't mean to host your okay. video, but okay. you know, okay. There's basically three ways to handle props. You know you like a side mm -hmm. and you're gonna hedge. Mm -hmm. you, you play the game out in your head, you like a side, and you're all in. It's a way Every to get more money right. down on it. Yeah, or yeah. you're taking props that you don't think can be involved in a game either way. Which, which one are you? I completely um, try to separate myself from my pick when it comes yep. to props. But with that said, I, I know I have some bias because I already know who I like, yeah. you know, because of that. But I, I, like I said, I knew going in, I thought things would be inflated. So I went in with the mindset that I'm going to look to go under on certain props and no on certain gotcha. props. Ralph, how do you decide your props? You know, I, I like I like looking at ones where I find there's value where it really doesn't matter how the game's being how played. you're betting the game. Obviously, you know, if San Fran gets ahead, their rush yards are going to be higher, their sure. pass yards are going to be over. We saw KC will try to run the ball last week. So you know, I, I have two field goal props that I think there's a lot of value with because both were close to even money. One and a half field goals made by Robbie Gould. Okay. To me, you know, you look at his number, he only had 23 for the year. But he was hurt three games. In those three games, they made seven field goals. Down the stretch, they had two or more field goals each of the last six games. From inside the 49, he was great. So you're looking at a, a person who kicked in San Francisco with wind. You're in Miami, light winds, better grass, perfect conditions. So Robbie Gould over one and a half. And another field goal. Longest field goal over 47 and a half yards, a no for both teams. Robbie Gould was 0-4 from 50 plus. San Fran is not going to try a long field goal. Harrison Butler was three of six from 50 plus, but do they really want to give San Fran that field position? So unless there's like a play at the end of the first half where you may get a long shot, I don't think either team is going to go for a long field goal. So I have two field goal props, Robbie Gould over one and a half, and no field goal over 47 and a half yards. Now, you sit here, you host, you smile. 
I want to hear one of your yeah, props for today. Prop. Come on. Uh, I do like the largest lead to be under 14 and a half points. Okay, um, you look for a close game. Yeah, both back are and forth. No one to get separation. Yeah, both ex explosive offensively. I don't expect uh, one team to to go past you know two touchdowns ahead of the other team. So that's the one that I kind of like. Fair enough. Awesome. I like well, it. Cool, more. guys. Any more? Yeah, I I've got a, a uh, and, and Let's here's list all a, of them. Okay. why not? No, no, no. <laughs> no just okay. a, a couple player props that we bet I bet under on that I still think there's some value there. And on the KC side, again, we bet Robinson under re, uh, 22 receiving yards, uh, Hardman under 26 receiving yards. On San Fran, almost start props under on his free, uh, rushing yards from yes. 80 and a half all the way down to 74 and a half now. Um, also his attempts, rushing attempts on there, bet no on plus money, he doesn't score a touchdown. Let's not forget, he ran for 220 yards in the conference championship and didn't even start, mm -hmm. okay? The most ever for the franchise of San Francisco 49ers, most ever, and the most ever in a playoffs since Eric Dickerson 35 years ago. So you knew the most start numbers were gonna be inflated going in. So win or lose, at least you, you hope you're getting a couple points, a couple yards, the better of it. And I think that's the case. And I said before, I've done this every year, I bet no on every player not to score a touchdown. Uh, it's been a profitable. You're still cutting your money from last year? Long term. <laughs> yeah, yeah. But the year before it stung. The year before it stung. I will say that. When when you have a game where a lot of players <laughs> score touchdowns, it's bad. You're laying yeah. some chalk on some guys. Last two I had bet at Caesars. Um, you know, sometimes we overanalyze things. But my thought is this. You're right. Casey Don't make started it harder than it needs to be, ago. right? Casey started slow at home last week. Which will happen first? A punt or a score? For Kansas City. I'm betting a punt. I got even money on a punt. Is KC going to come down their first drive and score? Well, shit, they haven't done it at home in two playoff games. How are they going to do it against the best defensive line in football? So even money on that. And then one more. Um, will the opening kickoff result in a touchback? This one's yes. You're laying 135. But how many times do you see quarterbacks overthrow the ball by 10 or 15 yards? There is so much adrenaline. That kickoff specialist will kick it into the end zone. You don't want to kick to KC's kick You're right. Returner. You're so, so right. You're laying 135, but to me, Good there is so much value on that with the adrenaline, that opening kickoff. Boom, it's going way Worth deep it. in the end zone, and I, I believe you have a winner after the kickoff. I love it. Thank you very much, guys. Wager Talk TV users get $25 in wager bucks added to your account after your first purchase at wagertalk.com and sportsmemo.com.